guys again, Alexandra here. Today I'm back with another tutorial, this time on WeVideo, which is a video editing tool that's available on multiple devices, including your phone and most importantly, Chromebook, which makes it a perfect choice for many education providers. Now, you might be here because you're looking for a cheaper option to the more famous Adobe Premiere, or you just want to take care of a school project. Now, for this review and tutorial, I'm going to look at the free plan, which is limited because you only have five minutes of video per month and a low storage space as well as low quality video resolution but it's a good place to get started to actually test out the tool and see if it's the right choice for you and your team now getting started with your first video is very simple you can go to new video and here you've got three options to choose from based on the type of video you want and on the right side of the screen you will get a preview of the social media platforms where your video type would fit best. This time I'm going with the horizontal video and I'm clicking on start editing. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some videos from the media option. Click on browse to select. Now depending on the size of your files, these are going to take longer or less time to actually upload into your video editor. While we wait for these videos to upload, which might take a bit longer if, again, the quality of the video is very high or its length is maybe longer than, let's say, half a minute, let's just take a look at some of the other features we have here. Now, at the top, of course, you've got your dashboard, which is exactly this, then you've got media, which is really the place you are going to add your videos, images, and audio to, and exports. Basically here you will have the videos at the end after you've edited them and you can export them to use them online or just share them with your colleagues and friends. Now here besides the media you can add on your own, which includes obviously videos and images and sound, you can always just record your screen, webcam, both screen and webcam if you want to do that setup where you have your screen on one place and maybe yourself in the corner such as with streaming formats or you can always narrate on top of your video. Then you have the stock media. Now the thing here is that most of these are not free. You can obviously opt to try the essentials pack in here and you will simply be able to edit them but you can't really save these videos unless you pay for the essentials pack. The video essentials are only available with the professional and business plans and they do save a lot of time you would have to spend looking for example for a nature landscape video or anything similar to that. Now let's move on to how the actual editing process works because this is what really matters for any tool like this. Now do keep in mind that as you've noticed this entire editor is in the browser but besides the uploading part the rest of the tools features actually work quite smoothly and without any delays. Now to actually edit a video you can just click on the video you want and drag it on to your editing pad right here and of course you can add multiple videos if you want to have a video on top of another one just work with these layers here because honestly this is how these work as layers notice that now when you play both of them at the same time you only see the video on top you'll have to click on it and here you can open opacity options click on fade and you have a lot of options here you can do it manually like this i'm just lowering it for more effect and then i'm grabbing this at the very beginning so we can have a look at how this opacity option actually works and you can notice the bird behind this second video here. You can always click Ctrl Z or Command Z and just 
turn back all of your changes. So we can look at some of the specific clip editors. In this case, you will be able to change anything from the size of your clip, you know, just move them around, scale them, rotate the video in case it's not in the correct position, make them fit, work with animations in case you want some special effects, change the colors of the video, and a bunch of extra effects, including the speed of the video. Raise this speed and see how the video looks like now. Then for each video in particular, you've got some audio options, very simple ones, and some clip effects, which are still basic, especially with the free version, but you can really opt for multiple effects at this time including adding the effect on one clip or on all of them. And now, of course, the video is just all over the place, so I'm going to click on Control z again to turn back to one of our initial setups. I do recommend just playing with all of the settings here from sound to just locking or more detailed options. And here, of course, you have your band for the audio option. And from this plus sign here, you can always add a new video, which also includes photo, not just motion graphics, and another audio in case you want double sound. We've also got the undo option here, if you don't want to work with Control z And let's just go back to our videos, which have been uploaded, and I'm going to add them to my timeline. I want to have somewhere here text on my images. Now the problem is that I have the free plan, so I'm just going to test these out, but notice how the app actually tells you if you have one feature or not. But the nice thing is that you are allowed to test everything and see if you really need and find these features helpful, or you might want to just stick to the basic plans. I'm just going for some random text, which I'm going to add here after the video. Now to edit a text here, I'm clicking on it twice and I have a lot of options to really change the color palette entirely here. I can even opt for different fonts, different colors, different scaling. And of course you have specific texts for seasonal, just static ones or callouts which you can add on top of your video. To add this callout at the top, because right now you won't be able to see it, I am instead going to move the video below and leave the callout on top. So just remember this for any callout or even this motion writing here. You have to have the text always at the top of the video. This is why you will most likely always have at least two of these video sections here. Then from the audio section you actually have, besides the songs you can add yourself or the voiceovers you can record directly from WeVideo, you can add these preset audio options including sound effects, for example lunchtime restaurant, which I am adding, don't forget, under the audio section. And I'm going to play this for you. And really that's it. Again, if you want to edit the audio, you're going to click here on volume and really these are your options along with, you know, changing the volume towards the end so you can lower it at the end. Just basic editing options for any video like you would find in most professional video editing tools, but this time you've got really an online app that works on all kinds of devices. And now for the most fun part, you've got the transitions. Let's just go with something more obvious, such as the curtains, which I'm honestly going to add in here. Between these two videos, I am clicking on play. And let's just see a different one, such as this one. You've got really a lot of these effects to work with. You've also got some backgrounds. Now you can use these, for example, to add text over them, or maybe you want these overlays, which let's just delete these. 
you can simply click on delete and let's see what this restaurant sunflower looks like wow. overlay on it and of course you've also got frames you can work with there is a lot more options in we video including just opting for a team there's also a green screen recording option so you can use these backgrounds to add them behind you or obviously upload your own image lots of other extra options that are not available with the free version but are definitely so fun for anyone who's looking to use this maybe for your class just teaching and even business now i will be able to actually export this but i do have the watermark on it and the quality is really low so it's only useful if you want to create maybe a fun video with your kids or something like this but you won't be able to use these stock media options now this is really all about we video for today if you need a more advanced tutorial let me know but this should do for most situations for any comments don't forget to leave them in the section below as always don't forget to subscribe leave a like and see you next time take care